Hey everybody, it's Robert here. It is day number 341 of my life, and today is about organization. Uh, I don't know if many of you know this, but I am a techno geek, computers, etc., and I'm also an organizational specialist, along with being a cook. So, today I found a bunch of stuff that needs to be organized, because I have a special guest coming in next weekend to my spare room, and it's just, it's overloaded. It's got all the props from the cooking, it's got too many cables, it's got all my junk in there. So I'm trying to clean it up, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you guys what it's like to organize a big mess, and maybe this will help you out, so I can give you some of my tips. So let's take a look at what's here. Oh, by the way, we're on the set. So here's what we've got. We've got two big, giant bins of cables. Now, being an electronics geek over the years, I have collected way too many, and there's lots of different stuff in here. Some of it's good stuff, some of it's bad stuff, and uh, so what I find is the easiest is kind of a divide and conquer. So I'm going to go through these two bins, and I'm going to set this up and probably put it through fast motion so you guys can watch, and I'm going to divide it by things that I definitely know I want to keep with those that I definitely know I want to get rid of, and then after that, we'll go through and organize it individually so that we can find what we're looking for. One of the problems that I find is that I tend to over-organize things, which means I make a really intricate system, and then I don't want to work on it in the future because it's so perfect or it's so done, and trying to integrate other things in is, is difficult for me. First thing is to keep it simple. So we're just going to divide this into two groups, keeps and goes. So let's start with that. Okay, you guys, I've been starting to go through this, and I had to turn the camera back on because there is a bunch of funny stuff in here. I found a label for my business where I used to make jams and jellies. I found a Dole recipe thing. I found, um, let's see, a clicker that goes on an old fashioned camera. If you can see that, book, book, book. Fire wire cables, RTS stuff. I have no idea what to do this with anymore. I've got old Nokia cables for the car. It's just funny stuff that's in here, so I thought I'd turn the camera back on and just give you a little tour because it's, it's just cracking me up. A little commentary along the way, never hurt. Oh, by the way, this is coax cable. Um, no one do that, but it goes old fashioned now, too. Something from the Sports Authority. I cannot even believe how much of a mess this is. Now, these are power cords, so you can see this is like a 110 with a ghost of this kind of thing. Do you need a microphone with an RTS sleeve? More coax cable. Do you need a CD for your cable modem. Tiny little patch cable. Don't know, even know why I have that. By the way, did you need a D-Link network connector here? I figure I'd tell you some funny stories as I'm going through here. When I was a kid, we didn't have much money, and both my father and my grandfather had garages and basements full of stuff. Not to exclude my mother, the organizer, or my grandmother, the kitchen organizer, but you know, there was money to buy things and go to the movies or go to school or whatever. But there wasn't a lot of money for extras, so to throw something out of the way that could potentially be used in the future was a no-no. And so you just kind of saved everything. And yeah, so I have a really hard time throwing shit away. I'm at the point now where it's like, there's just, there's just too much. Now, here's something interesting. I have a bunch of old hard drives that I want to pull the data off of and move into new hard drives that are larger. And that's actually why I'm doing this, is because I'm looking for the cables for that. So I've got a bunch of these power cables. Oh, um, I was a network administrator for a publishing company for 11 years, so there's a lot of that kind of stuff. Ah, now here's something interesting. Here is a multiple USB connection piece, and I wonder where the power is for that, because that would actually be useful. The problem is, is I dumped this upside down, which is probably what I should not have done. So, you know, I used to pride myself on my stereo, and all of these went obsolete at one moment, so. Anybody need some RCA cables? Hit me up. Look, another 60 miles of them. And more RCA. I like to put stuff outside for my neighbors. I usually put signs on it, funny signs that say, you know, free, but don't take the box, or something like that. I was just out there a bit ago, and somebody was taking a bunch of stuff. And I was, I was left to spy and look at that, it's funny. Okay, so this looks like a headset, but it looks like it's missing the headset piece, so it's out of here. You know, with new quick cams or whatever you want to call them. More power cables. I got lots of power cables. I have got USBs of every generation and some HDMI. Here's the headset piece. Anybody want to be Julie from Time Life Books? Some more cables here. Except, you know, here's the problem. 
No, this one's good. Actually, it's got two ends on it. Never mind. We'll keep that. Serial cables. Enough serial cables to kill a horse. Anybody got any serial devices left? Got an old printer? USB coming out the nose. Giant monitor and USB cables. Mm, now that might be handy for something. Oh, we've got a wireless mouse. Do you remember when they used to have this? The wireless mouse adapter. Kind of funny. Don't know where the mouse is, so I won't get rid of that yet. And more monitor cables when somebody thought it was sexy in the 90s, maybe 2000s. Nope. This is an Apple monitor cable. You can tell because it has that. Don't need that. No Apple products. Oh, look. What is this? This is a t old USB cable. Those are the things I'm looking for. Now, funny story here. Let's see. More USB. More. I got tons of USB. Okay. So, more USB over there. Just dividing. Look. Thing in space. Also found cassette tapes. Funny. Patrick. Nice chocolate, Elvis. And, of course, I've got the 1993 Germany Hotel Schloss Hornburg, Sean Cornwell, and Joshua Cronin side. This is the tape that I received before going on my international adventure for language acquisition in Germany. And this is a recording that I need to figure out how to get to digital because it was my first introduction to that, and I think it's hilarious. Let's get some more stuff. We have a light scribe drive. We have more power stuff that I can imagine. More. More is more is more power adapters. And we have one of these. Now we got power bars. Not the kind from Trader Joe's, just the electrical kind. This is good for Christmas, so I have to keep these. What I need is more network cable. So, oh, look at this. Look at this. We found a gem. A tiny USB 2 with a USB 1 attached. That's a good thing. My grandfather had a cable business, and God knows what to do with all this cable stuff. But there's a connector, so I might keep that. All right, these can go to the side. In case you needed more network cable. Some more network cables. Alright, I'm going to dump this because I don't know what it all is. RCA, 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 don't need any of that. Coax connector, that's what I was looking for before. And it looks really old and cheap from Radio Shack. Let's see. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. Now we got two. I can practically build some robotic arms. Doot, 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 doot. What else we got? More USB cables. We got a lifting strap that goes around your wrist. <laughs> More RCA. I see a gold connector, except for a fortune, but... What is this? F4? What is that? Wire tie? Don't need that. What is this? Health instruments. This is an old-fashioned... How is this getting here? An old-fashioned thermometer piece of paper. Now, this is a classic. We'll keep that. Alright, in here. Oh, jeez. Actually, this is like good stuff. We've got car adapters and jacks and... We'll keep that. Alright. Another power adapter. Another USB. Oh, how about some cleaning from memory? Anybody need... I can't even tell what it is. It's RAM. Maybe I can sell it. Need one of these? No, nobody does. Apple cover. And a power cable. Always good to have. And what the hell is this? I don't know. Anybody know what that is? I don't know either. Never use it? Go away. Power. USB. And a headset that has never been used and looks really old. Bye bye. Wow. Here is a network connector on one end. Cat5 and USB on the other end. No idea what you'd use that for. Bye. And here is the king. Here is the Velcro, which we'll be using in a little while. And, oh, there's the wireless mouse, so we can put that with the thing. This is an adapter for a scanner, and you know, I love them doing some scanning. I've got some nails for holding cables. We've got a USB adapter for a keyboard, that sort of thing. And an RTS to RCA, I think can go away. And a car charger, but I don't know what this goes to. Oh, another car charger, and I don't know what this goes to. These must be old phones. I'll have to check that out. Look, more RTS. Bye-bye. And FireWire. Oh, FireWire. We'll use this strap. Get rid of that. This. So never even opened. This is a power adapter. This is... What is this? Never even opened. Going on. Alright. More cable. And look. We have divided it and conquered it and found some wire ties in it. Whoops. And uh, let's give you a little tour of what the, what the table looks like now and what we're left with. So you can see what we've gotten rid of and what we got here. All right, let me give you a tour. Here is how much stuff we've gotten rid of. So it's almost about a box worth. That's how much we're in the boxes. And that's very exciting. So I'm going to put that on the curb. In our Divide and Conquer project, you can now see what's left on the table. It looks like a mess, but it's not that bad. It's actually divided out. We've got power adapters and USB. We've got network cables. We've got 110 power strips and extensions. And then the little stuff. Now comes the second part of the project which is we're going to actually organize the stuff that we're going to keep. So, just to show you some supplies I've got here, let me get this out of the way. I have a box. This is just a, a box from Costco. And I'm going to put this inside the bin, and this is going to hold the little, little stuff like this. It goes in there. Now, I've also got some white wire ties, some gray wire ties that I discovered in this box, which is exciting. 
I've also got a pair of scissors just to cut the wire ties when I cinch them up. And this is Velcro tape. It's kind of cool stuff. It's got it's got the, the hooks on one side and the fuzzies on the other. And when you cut it apart like into pieces, it's good for cables that you uh, are using often. Standard American market where it's got the just the 110 plug and this damn protector thing. I hate this protector thing. I don't have children and it's gone. So electric cords are, are oftentimes twisted inside, so if you can go the same direction that they were manufactured, for instance, flattening this out and going with it, it'll actually go together better. It'll make a nicer coil, if you will. I just do a back and forth, back and forth, make a loop, and then I always make sure that the, the two ends are caught within, so when I put the, the wire tie on it, I don't have dangling ends all over the place. That's a cheap-ass wire tie with no tongue in the middle. Yeah, all right. Try it again. Put the wire tie <laughs> around here. Put this through. And zip it. There you go. There's the sign we're looking for. Make them tight, and then I cut off this thing. What the hell? Okay, these are some cheap. Okay, these are going to the garbage. These are crap. These, on the other hand, I bought. I know they work. So, let's try this again. Okay, gather up your electrical. I find about an 8-inch or 10-inch loop. It's usually not even packaged and usually bend that way. I try to bend them nicely with the way the cable is, because it gives you a nice look. And then both ends. Now, when I do it, I try to make sure the ends are within where I'm going to zip tie it. And why do they call it a zip tie? Because it zips. back and I will show you the end of this. It's taken about a half an hour, 40 minutes to get this project completed and I just wanted to show you the results so that you have the confidence to do what I did. So first of all I want to show you how much stuff we got rid of. Check it out. A whole box of crap which is going to go on the curb so anybody wants some crap come to my house pick it up. Now I laid it all out so you could just see what we got here. So in the bin we've got cables and cables and then over here we've got the 110 outlet side of the plugs and then the other half of the plugs that go. Then we have some major cables for video and stuff like that. All of our USB cables. And then miscellaneous uh, little pieces like mice and drives and, I don't know, just, you know, headphones, goodies like that. Now, I'm going to put it all in the box and then I'm going to show you how much less stuff we have and what it all looks like organized. almost forgot to tell you guys, I put the small cables in bags so that I could just lift the whole things out of the bin when it time, comes time to looking for something. Okay, we're all done. Everything fit in the bin, no problem. There's even extra room for 
future stuff if it's needed. 50% less. So we had two bins, now I have just one bin. And by the way, this is kind of a it's kind of a big bin. It's one of those covered bins. Thanks for watching, you guys. I just want to let you know how this all works. You can find me on anywhere at Eudemonius, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S. What are you doing with your day? Love to hear. Bye.